Carlisle sold 40 million albums worldwide. Her greatest hits album, The Collection, was released yesterday, and she's here to perform a track called Hand in Pocket. Please welcome Alanis Morissette. Yeah. Yeah. I'm poor, but I'm kind. I'm short, but I'm healthy. Yeah. I'm high, but I'm grounded. I'm sane, but I'm overwhelmed. I'm lost, but I'm hopeful. I bet the boys are Canadian, the musicians. You know what, I mean, was he honorary. expecting really bad weather? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. A woolly yes. hat. Right here. <laughs> and you playing as well? I'm, I didn't know you played that as well. Yeah, well, I loosely say that I play it. <laughs> well, not very, very hard well. to play. Not Stevie things. Wonder yet, but no. it was. It I, was <laughs> I would need a far more complicated instrument than this. These are the kind of basic harmonics. <laughs> anyway, it sounded good to me. Thank Lovely you. to have you. Now, for most recording artists, the, the, the thing they worry about most is where am I going to get the songs? Right. What songs are they going to send me? You don't have this problem. You no. sit down and you write them, <laughs> that's all in there. Hunger, pain, love, regret. I like all hunger. In... Hunger's good. No, my, it... my problem is more the night before every record has ever come out over the last 11 years, I have that traumatic moment of thinking that the world is about to hear the entries in my diary the very next day. And that's... And so is that what you base them on? I mean, bits of... It's your life we're hearing there. It's all autobiographical. And, and 
after that initial 24 hour of trauma and fear, I just move on and I don't worry about it. And how does it feel? Because your lyrics really do affect people. Because I remember Jagged Little Pill coming out, and it's so, it is empowering to listen to because you, you relate to the lyrics. Do you, yeah. Are you aware of that, that you're going to have such an impact to lots of women that when listen I'm, to it? When I'm writing it, I'm not aware of it. I'm very sort of, you know, self-absorbed in a way that I think is necessary to create art. Yeah. But once it's out there, I think the, the reason why I would continue touring to this crazy extent would be to really just offer it to people to allow And is that exciting to, to know that you really do sort of offer, that's a service or yeah, it's a service? Yeah, it is. It's a social service. I feel so privileged. <laughs> you're going to be proud of this album though. Yeah. I'm very, very happy. It's yeah. near and dear to my heart for so many reasons. People don't realise it's a bit like, well, I had, dare I say this, you, you work and work, it's almost like waiting for a baby to turn up and then suddenly the album is out there and you it go, is. what's it going to do? <laughs> Happy birthday yesterday, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you were from, you're Canadian. I'm Canadian. And Ottawa. From Ottawa. I'm actually now also dual citizenship American. How does that work? How does that work? Well, I mean, can, can you be both? You can be. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. I like Ottawa. Do I played you? the art centre there. Did you? And they were really <laughs> lovely. They, they put me up in a hotel in O'Connor Street. Okay. Only the Canadians can be this thoughtful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but haven't the Canadians named a day after you? The Al Alanis Morissette Day? Yes. That's How, how terribly to? embarrassing. <laughs> um, March Do people 8. get the day off? <laughs> well, I do. That's it's all. A holiday. I know. <laughs> it's a holiday. It's uh, not really a formal holiday, although I think some people have tried to make it so. It's, this, it's the same day as International Women's Day, so there's some sweetness ah, to that. Ah, okay. The connection. Then. Yes, March eighth. I've found the Canadians, and I've went there quite. I went there about three or four or five times. Mm -hmm. I found that they are, they lean more towards the British than they do to the Americans. Yeah. Am I right there? They're very <clears throat> Commonwealth loyal. They love the UK and England and, and in general, and, and they have lots of similarities. I find that when I'm here, senses of humour. Yeah. yeah, they're a little bit. They have a little, you know. They are more. What I'm saying, more English, more British th than they are American. You know, when yes. they're so close, which is strange. Is yeah. yeah. And we we had Rod Stewart in the studio on on the show on Monday. Yeah. And um, <laughs> he was saying how it's really safe to live in the states, and in Los Angeles, he's just really, you know, feels Could safe. Go walkies. Yeah, and he said he's right. more sort of nervous in London. <laughs> really? You? But yeah, but you were quite lucky. You you were mugged in LA, weren't you? When I first moved there, I think uh, the I was daytime. there for about a week. Week, yeah, and I got held up right outside of my house. But that was the uh, right of passage. Well, how, 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 does the the mugging, how does the mugging work? I mean, we see it on movies. What happens? Do they well, come I'll out lay it out for you. <laughs> <laughs> Here's how to do it. <laughs> no, um, I was driving back, and I, I was Canadian, so a little bit, you know, had that invincibility thing, and someone had been following me in my car. Oh my I didn't know at that point to ah. look in my rearview mirror. Well, you were targeted, really, in a way. Yeah, right? followed yeah. home. Mm -hmm. How are you enjoying London? I love it. Do you, do you feel safe here? Oh, yeah. What have you been up to? Shopping and Running theater? around, eating, resting as best as I can. It's been a wild last couple of weeks, so yeah. taking care as best as I can, but it's but a really great city. Is our shopping good here? Oh, is, yeah. Is it really? Hell, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've sold 20, 30, 40, every time, you know, you just keep on selling more and more records. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And some of the songs are, I think I'll say on the edge a bit, there, and there's a bit of profanity going on in there occasionally and you, you shocked one or two people in America and then again when you were at home we hear that you walk around with very little on starkers yeah I mean are you a bit of a rebel at um, <clears throat> yes, if I find that the rule as such is a little gratuitous, I'm, I'm the first to be somewhat rebellious. But I won't just do it for the sake of being rebellious. There's no joy in that for me. And what's your idea of a really good night out? It depends. Always community. I'm all about having tons of friends around, a nice glass of wine. We also are known to play a lot of um, sort of uh, hands-on, violent sometimes charades. Different really? games. It can get quite Hands so physical. Hands-on violent, did you say? <laughs> wow, what does this mean? Falling over couches, people oh. pulling their hamstrings. It can be quite... Oh. <laughs> Sounds like a night at your house. <laughs> I beg your pardon, girls. <laughs> Now, you know, being such a <laughs> successful songwriter, is there anybody that you think, yeah, that's the best songwriter I know? Is there wow. anybody that you just think is amazing? There are so many people. A lot of Canadians, Gene Sibbery, Neil Young, Joni Mitchell, so many writers. But you, you deal in words. You are a partner of the, You're a wordsmith. Mm. So surely Cole, Cole Porter somewhere's got to yes, be in there. Yes, that whimsical, humorous, adorable You did Cole a track on, on the tribute to him. You did, did. Uh, let's do it. I was trying yeah. to think of a line today that would write, Mara say, I bet does it. I was trying <laughs> to find something that would work there. Yes, Cole Porter's genius.
Yeah, you did a two-month tour in mm -hmm. the summer, and you mm. could have filled the bigger arenas, but you chose the small ones. Why did you go for? We Why go did you go for that? All over the place. I love the intimacy. Yeah. It's yeah. actually more terrifying to play for smaller amounts of people, I find. But yeah. you get more feedback. <laughs> Those big arenas, you get lots of shouting, lots of cheering, but yeah. sometimes they're smoking, jumping, what the hell? Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> anyway, you keep coming here with your play big or small arenas and keep on selling Thank records. You. Thank you so much. A lot of smart nice said, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you.